we have the Scott Eagles, Coach Steve Frohmeyer, student athlete Chad Omer. Coach, comments? Well, it was a really good game. Um, I guess it was the type of game that should be for a state semifinal. Um, proud of our kids. They battled, you know, had our chances, and it didn't, didn't work out. Questions? Brian? Uh, Coach, what was the what was the call in that last play? Uh, you know, Jake left the shot. Well, we were gonna we were gonna stick with our. We were going to a, an isolation in the in the post for Jake. You know, running off a of, running off of a screen. They kind of jumped it a little bit, and then he just popped out, which is fine. Um, we tried to get a, a high ball screen there to get him loose. But it just it was loud. It was just you know, the, you know he just he tried to make the play on his own and we didn't get it and just you know he got a look but you know I don't know we'll never know. Um, Chad, uh, a lot of people were clapping very loudly when you were named to the all tournament team. Uh, I'm sure they've never seen a five seven guy play. The inside the way you have against these big guys. Uh, can you tell me, uh, you know, the mood of the team and, and uh, you know, how you guys feel about your state tournament performance? Um, I mean, nobody thought we were going to make it this far. So, I mean, we, we're proud that it can be as ourselves for ourselves. Check. Right. Kind of going and jumping off that, um, Taylor had eight rebounds at that time only, and then he finished with 12. Uh, I mean, you guys did just a you know, just to, to get back in that game and, you know, they keep responding with runs and to call it back, I mean, just to speak to that effort. Well, I mean, that, you know, that team, you know, in my opinion, having seen both of them Scott County play yesterday, it, that's the best team in the state. And, you know, it's, you know, obviously it's not a secret that it, size is difficult for us, especially size as incredibly as talented as, as they are, you know, especially the Taylor kid. But, um, you know, we struggled with that, you know. You know, we, we, we switched the way we defended it twice. Uh, we, we first were going to front everything and play help behind it, but it just, you know, our little guys just trying to jump up and swat down a ball from the help side it didn't work there. Um, you know, I just will say this, that, you know, Chad, for being just turned 16 within the last couple weeks, you know, uh, an undersized, probably under athleted, you know, in every most games he plays in. You know, he comes in today. No, well, actually he comes in all week long and just grinds out, but you know, eight rebounds today. Here's the thing about his rebounds, is every one of those rebounds in the second half created a transition opportunity for us that we scored on. Every one of them. When we were under cardiac arrest and everybody thought, well, let's get ice cream because the Eagles are done. You know, something would happen there, and then they would outlet. We get an outlet, and we get a score, or something crazy would happen like that. Um, you know, he's just a tremendous competitor, and you know, I, I'm I'm grateful for him to have had this experience to lead our sophomore class, you know, and push them and to work hard to return. Man, it's just hard. This is a, you know, this may never happen again. You know, make a run like this. But I'll be honest with you. You know, you were, you were, you know, one shot from the state championship. Um, you know, coaches' crew is are really good, and you know, they don't. You know, that's not a team that loses games on their own. You have to beat them. Uh, they don't beat themselves, and you know, they didn't beat themselves today. They won game. We lost. It's fair and square. I thought the charge that was called a block uh, about a minute to go in the game was huge. Gave them two points. Uh, I'm not real happy about that, but it's the way it goes. And. You know, it is what it is. Can't miss laps and beat a team like that, you know, or lose a, lose a team like that. And you got to beat a team like that. you got to beat them. Yes? Coach, talk about the last few weeks, starting with the Campbell game and the district championship. Who is that? Before? I'm going to talk about the Brosser game. <laughs> okay. We can start with that. Because I'd say we were playing, you know, the, the month leading up to that, we had played it atrociously. Um, I think we had lost, I think, seven of eight. Seven of seven of eight. It was just a terrible time for us. It was a it was the what I called the the dark period for us. Um, 
you know, then you came out in the process game, all of a sudden everything kind of clicked in the, in the, the, the first round of the district tournament, and, you know, we kind of carried that. Um, you know, I'm proud of that. I'm proud of the run they made there. You know, district championship game, we were right there. I mean, we had everything we wanted. I, I'm not going to go into specifics with that because I don't want to get in trouble. But, um, you know, my opinion, we were just as deserving to win that game as anybody else, as or I guess Campbell County was. And then, you know, the, our run in the regional tournament to play Mason at Mason against a very, very good Paris team and then – to beat Campbell, you know, in the finals was great. And come down here, I mean, it's been great. You know, our kids are, they, they, they have been resilient all season long. Um, you know, they will get over this. They will get over this. You know, the sun will come up tomorrow, I told them all in the locker room. Um, but I'm very proud of them. There's something, that, there's something to be said about a group of young little guys that just, fly around and are exciting to watch and I heard the building it, um, I can't remember the moment it was but there was a ball that rimmed out kind of early fourth or late fourth middle fourth I can't remember what it was and the, it was like the whole all the air in the building just came out it was unbelievable and I told the reserves on the bench I said did you, did you hear that you know it was just it was cool but they're fun to watch yeah. final question there on the corner uh, uh, you got to make a comment about uh, Jake and, and his uh, state tournament. I mean, one of the best state tournaments, not only from a night vision player, but from a lot of players in, in, in the, in the, that played in the state tournament. Can you address that? Oh, Jake's incredible. I mean, I, you know, he has, left, he has left a legacy at Scott High School. Um, and now, you know, and again, I, I said the other day that I really don't know the history, you know, when it comes to statistics. Someone would have to tell me that. You know, but was it 33 tonight, 32 last night, and 41 the other night? You know, it's it's just something that, you know, it's something that he won't forget. I know that. I know it's something his family won't forget and his brother won't forget to have experienced that. You know, so, you know, 15 years from now when they all have beer bellies and, and at Thanksgiving and they're out playing with their kids, you know, in the driveway, and then, you know, Jake, you know, calls one of those weak fouls that he wants to call, you know, you're pushing me, but, uh, and then Chad wants to fight, and that's what Christ it's Christmas and Thanksgiving and Mother's Day and Father's Day will be like in the, for them, but it's something that they, that they all got to experience together, they're all upset about together, um, you know, but I'll tell you this right now, you could have taken this and, and burned it because he wouldn't have cared just to have that shot go in. Doesn't matter to him. Does not matter. So he's had a great run. He's an incredible player. He's a great kid. And you know, shots go in, shots go. It's just the way it is. Coach, congratulations to you and the Scott Eagles on a great season.